Hi, I'm Emma and I'm with Ben at Cambridge Audio to talk about the new DAC Magic Plus and the new BT100, which is a Bluetooth receiver. So Ben, first up, what, what exactly does a DAC do? Well, a DAC is a digital to analog converter and it's what converts the digital audio signal to the analog signal, which is needed to send on to your amplifier and speakers. Okay, so if my computer or iPad or iPod already has a built-in DAC, why do I need the DAC Magic Plus? Well, the DAC which is built in to your music source will have been designed to meet a certain level of performance at a modest budget. So you can bypass this built-in DAC and send the digital audio signal directly to the DAC Magic Plus, allowing it to perform that critical digital to analog conversion instead. Additionally, we use very, very high quality components such as Twin Wolfs and DAC circuits and whatever the incoming audio signal is, is upsampled to 24-bit, 384 kilohertz to dramatically improve uh, audio performance and to reduce audio jitter, a horrible effect which degrades the quality of any digitally stored music. Finally, selectable digital filters also allow you to select the one which sounds best to your ears. So I can see there's quite a few connections on the back of the DAC Magic Plus. Um, does that mean I can connect more than one music source to the unit? Absolutely. You can upgrade the sound quality of all of your digital gadgets using just the one DAC Magic Plus. On the back here, we've got two digital inputs featuring optical and coaxial for each, plus an additional USB audio input. So I can upgrade the sound quality from my CD player, iPod dock, or even TV or satellite box, plus the USB input allows my PC or Mac to sound amazing. In terms of outputs, we have a regular phono output, as well as a balanced XLR output, meaning that the DAT Magic Plus can be connected to high-end or pro audio gear. Okay, and I can see there's a volume control on the front. Is it just volume or is it for something else? Well, it is indeed a volume control. It can be configured to control the volume of the headphone output, or it can be used to control the level of the analog output, thus acting as a digital preamp. And if you're connecting it in that way, you could connect it directly to a power amplifier or pair of active speakers. Okay, great. So how does the BT100 fit into this whole setup? Well, on the back of the DAT Magic Plus, we have an external input which allows connection of the BT100, either using its extension cable, or I can connect it directly into the back of the DAT Magic Plus. Then, the BT100 will pair to any Bluetooth device, so basically any mobile phone, smartphone, laptop, computer, etc. The great thing about it is that it's so simple, it's just plug and play. There are no wireless networks required, no wireless passphrases, no hassle. So it's really easy for everyone to share their music. So will the DAC Magic Plus improve the sound quality of my Bluetooth device? Yes, it will. The received Bluetooth audio goes through the same high quality circuitry and audio upsampling as the other digital inputs, so your music will sound as good as it's possible to. Additionally, the DAT Magic Plus supports the Aptex Bluetooth codec, which the latest Android devices and MacBooks support. Aptex is a higher quality of Bluetooth audio format, which sounds better than the standard Bluetooth SBC format and sounds amazing. And so what about smartphones? Will the audio from my apps be sent to the DAC Magic Plus? Yes, they will. Once paired with the BT100, the Bluetooth device will send its audio to the DAC Magic Plus instead of its own speakers. So that means that any audio from the device, be it the iPod feature of an iPhone or Spotify or Games apps, will all be sent to and app sampled by the DAC Magic, meaning that it sounds absolutely fantastic. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Ben. If you'd like to improve the quality of your music and learn more about the DAC Magic Plus and the BT100, you can find all the information you need at cambridgeaudio.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.